I swear, you have missed your calling. I don't even know why you bothered to write. You want to come for this? Oh, can't. I'm off to a masquerade ball. Perhaps I'll meet my Gatsby. Oh! Oh, Mother, I'm impressed. You still fit into your prom dress. Uh, thank you, darling. <laughs> have you asked him yet? I was waiting for the right moment. Oh? Ask me what? Paige and I got invited to a party tomorrow, the night before Halloween, by seniors. Are your grandmother's friends? No, Dad. Twelfth graders. But it'll be supervised. You're still here, and you're making pancakes. I was hoping for bacon and eggs, but your eggs are expired, and your bacon has something furry on it. Yeah, well, I mostly order in. Figured that from the styrofoam temple you've got going on in the refrigerator. Coffee's brewed. I think your filter's broken, though. I'll order you a new one later. Wow, looks like you thought of everything. Stop frowning, Alexis, or your father will freeze your face like that. He didn't have to. I just found out I have to study slides with a microscope for my AP Chem exam. I can't take a microscope to the Hamptons. Oh, so you're canceling your trip? Well, when I'm studying, I want to be on the beach with the girls. And when I'm on the beach, I feel guilty for not studying. Well, don't look at me. I'm from the have your cake and eat it too school of decision making. I say do both. Or maybe by this weekend, I'll figure out a way to take this tank of liquid nitrogen and build it into a weather machine. I'll make it rain. Your friends will have to cancel their trip. You won't have to choose, and then we can take over the world! <laughs> I have delicately placed one graham cracker, exactly six marshmallows, atop a perfectly melted chocolate bar. In an omelet, darling, really? Not an omelet. A s'morelet. Uh-huh. Care for one? No, yeah, thank you. What about you, sweetheart? Are you ready for your taste buds to be launched into breakfast nirvana? Sure, thanks. Oh, is it okay if my friend Ashley comes over tonight? Yes, of course. Now eat. Wow. Oh. Are there marshmallows in this? Yes. And chocolate? Yes. That's the point. It's a smorlet. Uh, I gotta go. Before we plan the honeymoon, shouldn't we set a wedding date first? No, because the department hasn't even said if you can have time off yet. Besides, planning a honeymoon will help us set a date. Okay, can't wait to hear about this. Well, you don't want to go to Thailand during monsoon season, do you? Or New Zealand in the winter? No, you decide where you want to go, the best time to be there. Boom, lobby for those dates. New Zealand? Kessel, are you using our honeymoon as an excuse to go into our Middle Earth? I'm game if you want. I was hoping for something more romantic and less hobbity. Why does everyone always think those two are mutually exclusive? And it should be a place that neither of us have ever been to. Agreed. A perfect spot that would be ours and ours alone. <sighs> 1987. A year when the Bangles taught us how to walk like an Egyptian. Bon Jovi taught us how to live on nothing but a prayer. And Rick Astley taught us how to laugh. You're feeling nostalgic after getting pulled back in time to your days at Faircroft Prep. Yeah. It was strange going back. Everything seems smaller, yet unchanged. I mean, the hallways are the same. The principal is the same. Same banners for school dances. And why didn't you go to your prom? I'm sure 17-year-old Catherine Beckett had many a young suitor. Yeah, except Rebel Bex was a little too cool to go to a silly dance, so we went to a poetry slam in the East Village instead. It's one of those seminal moments that I kind of wish I didn't skip out on. To the things we missed. And to those we didn't. Hey! How about breakfast for dinner? Making smorlets, which is technically dessert for dinner. Good morning. Hey! I'm surprised you're up, given how late you got in from L.A. last night. Oh, hmm. Well, I thought we could play a little catch-up before you got off to work. Oh. I'm all ears. Thanks. Careful, I made a little strong this morning. 